has dawned upon me And I'm ready to step out Time to face my demons No room for any doubt My eyes are on the target Both feet on solid ground The land is cold and empty And nothing makes a sound Now I look behind me With daggers in my eyes He stands prepared to fight me Clouding up my skies So I take a few steps forward And take my last breath in Our eyes meet, we understand The battle must begin So I walk into the She didn't look like anything special. If I'd have known who she was, I might have taken the time to put on a bit of makeup. Don't get me wrong, I usually do because I look pretty crap without it. Susan? Susan! Oh, Susan. 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 Susan! Susan! All right, all right, look, you get your stop! Oh, back up! One, back up! Susan. Susan. But sometimes I just can't be asked. What have I said? Don't be organised a shot. Susan. Susan. What did I say? Huh? What did I say? You get your shot! Oh! No, no, no. Before you come calling out of the woodwork, the damage is. Call me first. Susan! And this was one of those times. Sorry I'm late, Dawn. It's all right, Steffi, at least you're here now. Okay, everyone, so why don't you tell us something from life that's, um, that makes you really sad? Steffi, you go first. Make it truthful, for God's sake. I love my dad to bits. But he can be a right bastard sometimes. It's the beer. Especially when he mixes it with whiskey. See, he's Scottish and he's got a terrible fucking temper. Mum didn't know he'd been laid off weeks ago. My mum's a bit of an inspiration to me. Going back to study when she got older. Look, it's just for one night. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't see any of my kids out on the street. They weren't really hers. They'd just been kicked out the care homes mum used to work in. Right, I've got you booked into a room in the pub around the corner. Make sure you go straight to bed. And don't be getting wasted. I do sometimes wonder if it was worth all the hassle. You fancy getting wasted? That's not the point. The point is she had a dream about getting herself a degree and bettering herself. And I completely get that. But for some reason, we didn't spot the signs. Even Mum didn't. Stop. What did I do? Nothing. My dad was squeezing the life out of my mum and I just stood there, waiting for her to die. Thank you, Steffi. Right, who'd like to go next? I'll never forget the day Lucy died. She 
such a beautiful cat. I don't want to sound up myself or anything, but most of them are pretty crap. I mean, Dora's place isn't exactly the Royal Academy of Dramatic um, Arts. Oh, Steffi, would you mind holding on for a moment? I know, you don't have to tell me. I went completely over the top. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Um, this is Audrey, and she is the casting director for The Towers. Have you heard of it? Heard of it? Are you for real? It's a soap. Yeah. Biggest soap in the country. We're looking for a young girl to be part of a new family moving into the area. The Goddard's flat? Yes. You're a fan, then? I've only been watching it my whole life. Yeah. I think you might be quite good at the part. Would you be interested in coming to the studio to audition? OK. <laughs> OK. That's all I could think to say. How pathetic. I know what I felt like doing. But I didn't. That would be so uncool.